All right, what I want to talk about next is what's called visual situational display, or VSD for short. And some of you are familiar with this. Uh, the Cirrus Perspective Plus Avionics have this feature. Uh, the G1000 NXIs have this feature, and I'm sure other avionics have this feature as well, although I'm not specifically familiar with uh, their names at the moment. Um, a visual situational display. What is it? How do we pull it up? What information does it tell us? And when would it come in handy? When would we go ahead and use it? Uh, we'll talk about all that. Let me take a little sip so I don't dry out. Oh, that's good stuff. Okay, visual situational display. What it is, is it shows us a 3D picture. Because right now, if you take a look over here on the map, we see our course, right? We see the route, but we see it from a bird's eye view. So I can't really tell whether or not the altitude of 8,500 along this route, whether or not it'll plow me into a mountain or an obstacle or something. Joshua from 72 Whiskey, uh I can't really tell that We're from this. We're going to take uh, flight separation. My wind is going to descend down ahead of me. Remember 7 2 Whiskey, Roger. And so right now, I have a flight plan going, and I'm tracking that plan. I'm also at 8,500 feet. So check this out. Visual situational Cherokee display. Cherokee 7 Whiskey, how is the um, ride coming over the mountains, and how has it been in the... Um, visual situational the display will show me whether or not 8500 so on my way to Torrance along my route of flight will take me and plow me into a mountain or not. So they, there's an easy way to load it, the visual situational display, and a more difficult way to load it. And I'll show you the easier one. And the easier is right here at the MFD where you're on the map. You press menu, and then you take the big knob and scroll all the way down to the bottom. You see show VSD visual situational display. So big knob all the way to the right, highlight show VSD, and then you press enter right here, enter. And then that shows up. So sort of half of your screen remains the map, and then the bottom is the visual situational display. Typically when you go into it, it shows, in, it shows up zoomed in. So what you want to do is come to this range and go to the right to zoom out. And now you can see here, here I have my waypoints, my next waypoints along the route of flight. And then here, this green line, see this green line? That's 8,500, so that's representing my cruise altitude. And then if I zoom out, it shows me the terrain along my way, and it also shows me what 8,500, where it lies, where does it fall in relation to the, over, the underlying terrain. And you can see here, 8,500 will clear the terrain. So if I zoom out, I can see 8,500 will not plow me into a mountain. Now, if I lowered my floor, as I call it, right there, the altitude, Look what happens to the green line. It will come down. Eventually, you can see it touching the floor. So here we go. I'm lowering the floor. Let's lower it to uh, 3,500. And then you can see the green line is touching the mountains right over here. So when you, lo uh, when you show VSD, uh, visual situational display, it shows you when you're selecting an altitude, it shows you what altitude, what altitude will go ahead and clear the mountains on the way. So that's a nice 3D way to figure that out. Uh, visual situational display. And it, and it shows you the waypoints along the route, and also in the uh, other settings, which I'll show you how to get there, you could select whether or not to show winds on there. So you can see right here we have the winds selected. So we can see right now we have a little bit of a headwind. Um, generally speaking, at this altitude, it shows a little, the winds is coming towards us. The winds are coming towards us. Um, and at different altitudes, they're going towards me or away from me. So if you're also another great time to use this, which we'll talk about in a moment, but since we're talking about winds, we'll talk about it now, is if you're flying along and you're finding a 30 knot headwind, guess what? Pull up show VSD. If you got the winds on there, maybe a thousand or two thousand feet above you, you could see that the winds shifted, or maybe it's lighter, not as strong of a headwind, or even better, a tailwind, and you could just go ahead and climb, request a climb. So it gives you a great idea in real time as to what the winds are doing at different altitudes uh, to reach your destination at the highest possible ground speed. So that's VSD. Now this is menu. Scroll down. 
And now guess what shows up there? Hide VSD because VSD is already showing. So you can do enter and then it takes it away. So the easiest way to pull it up is menu and then scroll all the way down, show VSD, enter, and it's right there. And then you can take the range knob and you can go right or left to zoom in or out. In or out. And you can see this shows you a bird's eye view and this shows you sort of a side, um, similar to like an instrument approach where we, we call it the profile view on the instrument approach section. And it just shows you the side, um, um, a 3D view of where your altitude uh, puts you in relation to the terrain. So that's the easy way to load it. There's another way to load it. If you come down here to map options, you press that, and then you press inset, and then you see VSD, and you can pull it up. You can pull VSD up, and then you can come here and do off, and then you can come back and back. So this way is a little more involved. This way right here is the easiest. Menu, show VSD, menu, hide VSD. Really simple. Okay, now that we know what VSD does, and how to load it. Oh, and I said I'll show you how to get the winds in there. So the winds, you do menu over here, and then you go to map settings, which is the first one. You press enter, and then the small knob shows you all the different things that you could select settings for, and then you could scroll down with the big knob to the bottom. It says VSD, enter, and then right here, it shows winds. So you come down to this one, and we have it to on. You could have it on or off. So the way to do that is menu, map settings, and then small knob, if you're on a different thing, you just scroll to VSD, enter, then big knob, you can scroll through the different settings and turn your winds on or off. Really simple. All right, so now we loaded it. We know how to get the winds on there. Let's talk about, if you can't, I haven't already t taken a few guesses, let's talk about when would be a good time to go ahead and use it in day-to-day -day flying. So one of the times we already talked about, talking about the winds, and that is, if you're flying along and you want to figure out, well, where do I have better or where, where are the winds better or worse? What are they doing around me? So if I'm fighting a, bit, a big headwind um, and I want to climb, are they better up there? Maybe I need a descent. So if you pull the VSD up and you have the winds turned uh, selected to on, it shows you a nice visual real-time uh, situation as to what's going on with winds. So maybe if you climb, you'll get some tailwinds, or if you descend, because it looks like right here, this arrow, looks like if we climb up to 15,000 feet, we should have nice tailwinds. So there's headwinds beneath us and above 15, but then as we climb between here and about 18,000, there's nice tailwinds. So you could quickly tell that by VSD. So one of the times that you'd use VSD uh, is for that purpose, to see what the winds are doing above or beneath you in real time. So it's really helpful for that. Another time, and this is really by far the best time that you'll want to use VSD. In fact, you don't want to be flying without VSD up uh, unless you're really, really, really brave. And that is at night. I do a lot of my flying um, in the desert. In and out of Death Valley, um, up the coast of California. Uh, not really desert, but uh, I do a lot of my flying in areas where at night it's just pitch black. Um, not in the immediate vicinity of uh, Los Angeles. And there's a lot of mountains. There's big mountains, there's mountain ranges, ridges. November 365, contact uh, LA Center, 132.6. And so for someone like myself, specifically, who does flying in areas where it's pitch black at night, and I'm going to descend into airports where there's literally nothing around it. I'm going into an airport in Death Valley, flying into Toronto at night, there's nothing around it. Toronto's just sitting in the middle of nothing. Um, so VSD is phenomenal, especially for descent planning, uh, to see whether or not it will take you into a mountain. Um, it's fantastic for that, fantastic for descent planning. Uh, also, another time to use it is VNAV. I won't talk about VNAV on this flight. We'll keep that for another flight. But if you use VNAV right here, if you set VNAV up, uh, VNAV along with VSD is a powerful, phenomenal tool um, to show you whether or not you are descending too soon, too late. Because remember, VNAV is smart in the sense that you tell it the descent rate, and it will figure out, okay, where should you begin a descent, going as fast as you're going and being as far away from your destination. So it's a little bit of smart. But it's not as smart to the, it's not smart enough to the point where it could also tell you, hey, listen, this descent that we're planning is going to take you. Contact approach 124.55. 2455, 15 bell. Have a nice day.
And approach good afternoon, station air, 1215, golf level, 8500, direct Santa Monica. Alright, I think I, I think I stepped on somebody. Uh, go in direct Santa Monica, say again. Yep, station air, 1215, golf level, 8500, direct Santa Monica for uh, LA special flight rule. Never 1215, golf, Josh Price, 1 altimeter, 2982, welcome. 2982, thanks, 15 golf. There we go. There's another aircraft calling Josh Ryan. Yeah, service 593 echo. So, VNAV along with VSD is a really yeah, powerful, two, powerful, two, powerful two, tool, seven, eight, eight, five, uh, especially five, flying five, at night. Five, especially five, flying five, at five, night. Because you really can't tell uh, where five, the mountains five, are at five, and five, five, whether or not a certain descent rate. Um, we'll get you, uh, you know, you'll scrape them out. You don't want that happening. You don't want that happening. So it gives you a lot of peace of mind. A lot of peace of mind. So that's VSD right there. Menu, show VSD, hide VSD. Menu, show VSD, hide VSD. I'm sorry, November 593, I Easy. I hope that all makes sense. Then you know we're starting off the send to 4.5. How did you copy it? Thank you.